Hey, it's Ryan Cavino with Northeast Realty Partners and RyanCavinoRealEstate.com bringing you the single family condo multi and we'll check for bank owns in Charlestown, Mass. What we're looking at is the single families. There's one quasi new one and one under agreement. So let's get the scoop on this new one. It's a two bedroom, one and a half bath cottage and it's on for 419, but it's been on for 186 days. So let's see if uh, the property was listed before or had a higher price and it was with Hammond Residential and started at 459. So um, 419 should generate some more interest, but it's starting over. It was canceled on the 18th and came on on the 20th. So I bet they're motivated because they've been on for six months and now they're ready to go. Hopefully with that $6,000 price reduction, you can get some more activity. Uh, oops, sorry about that. And then the under agreement took 75 days, which is a little, just about uh, two and a half months, 1.2 million. It's a five bedroom, three and a half bath, 2,600 single family, attached single family. And it's really done up nicely. Uh, you can see that just the, the woodwork right here is something that's really sought after. And uh, has a nice private space in the backyard, wonderful chef's kitchen. And it is certainly a property that, uh, will bring you many years of joy so let's look it started at 1.2 and it was canceled and brought back on just a, actually so the market time was just a little bit about a little bit over a month if you think about it because it came on in, in may off in june and then back on in september so let's take a look at the um condo market just eight this week um we have three new ones, and you can see one has actually been on for about six and a half months. And then we have three under agreement that uh, hold on. We have three under agreement, and the average under agreement price is 571 and took 87 days. Now, what's interesting is that the two that sold this week had a market time of 94 days and had a much lower list price. But if you look closely, you can see the one bedroom for 525 only took two weeks. And it's um, in the restored uh, schoolhouse in Monument Square. It, um, let's see if we get some interior photos. It's a beautiful loft, it's about 1,100 square feet, nice kitchen, nice bathroom. And uh, it was a entry only listing, so the seller did it on themselves and they got a really good deal. Um, for doing it themselves they were able to put in the time and effort when sold it in 13 days so my hat's off to them because it's not easy here's a one bedroom two bath over in the flagship wharf and some of these places are a little bit dated but you cannot update that that view is incredible it's about 1700 square feet um, one bedroom and i'm not sure if it has a uh i'm not sure if it has a parlor or a study or something which just might be one big one bedroom it does have an $800 condo fee though so we can get a two bedroom and a one and a half bath on Parker Street unit six this is updated it's a um, it's off of Cambridge Street so it is looking over at uh, at um, th this is the 93 overpass right here and this is Rutherford Drive nice unit So, let's move on to the multis and see if anything's doing there. One, which is good. What is it? New? Under agreement? Sold? Under agreement. 63 Rutherford Ave. This has been red flag for a while. Uh, probably because it's such a unique space. It's a uh, industrial building that could be a multi, could be a, um, could be, uh, you know, home office, could be anything. Uh, with the amount of space that's in there. It's actually classified as three families, so maybe there's some conversion possibilities. Let's see if we've got anything going on in the bank-owned area. Right now, there's a total of 156 properties that have either on the market or sold or went under agreement in the last seven days. And we just have this one bank on a Mystic Street, which is a nice unit. It is off Bunker Hill to Mystic Street's 420. It has uh, 1,050 square feet, two levels. Uh, it looks like the bedrooms are in the basement here. And um, you do get a garage parking space with it as well. It's assessed for 396, so probably this is going to be on for a little while because people are going to look at that and they're going to see it's bank owned and assume they're going to get a deal. And then 
that essentially becomes market value as people start to have that perception. But we can see here that the floors and the, and the, the bedrooms are on a lower level and they have a tile floor. And this has been on for about three weeks. So that's it. If you have any questions, give me a shout, Ryan at ryancavino.com.